AMD third gen CPUs, pricings, and specs have been leaked and posted by a ton of very trusted sources. The next gen Xbox consoles, codenamed Anaconda and Lockhart specs, have also been leaked and oh my god are they nuts. USB 3.2 has been announced which is two times the speed of USB 3.1 but it's a bit confusing. The PlayStation Plus free games for March 2019 have been announced which isn't part of the video but the two Two games are Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered and an indie game called The Witness. I thought some of you would like to know that if you own a PS4. But before we get into today's video, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and leaving a like is always appreciated if you enjoy the video. First up is the confusing new USB 3.2. Here's a breakdown just to set things straight. USB 3.2, the technical name is USB 3.2 Gen 2x2. Marketing name, super speed USB 20 gigabytes per second. USB 3.1 is being changed. The technical name is USB 3.2 Gen 2, previously known as USB 3.1 Gen 2. The marketing name for this is super speed USB 10 gigabytes per second. USB 3.0 is now named USB 3.2 Gen 1, previously known as USB 3.1 Gen 1, and simply USB 3.0. The marketing name for this one is Super Speed USB. So yes, when you go on over to Amazon, eBay, when you go to Walmart, wherever it is that you're going to be getting some USB devices, they're starting to be named different names, so it's probably going to confuse you. Next up for today is AMD 3rd Gen CPU prices and specs rumored. The Ryzen 9 3850X is going to be $499. The Ryzen 9 3800X is going to be $449. The Ryzen 7 3700X is going to be $329. The Ryzen 7 3700 $299. Ryzen 5 3600X, $229. Ryzen 5 3600G, $199. The Ryzen 5 3600, $178. The Ryzen 3 3300X, $129. The Ryzen 3 3300G, $129 as well. And then the Ryzen 3 3300, $99. Yes, I know that is a lot of CPUs to be giving you prices on. Next up is the specs for the AMD third gen CPUs. For the Ryzen 9 3850X, 16 cores, 32 threads, clocked at 4.3 gigahertz to 5.1 gigahertz. This thing is going to be a beast. The Ryzen 9 3800X, 16 cores, 32 threads, clocked at 3.9 GHz to 4.7 GHz. The Ryzen 7 3700X, 12 cores, 24 threads, clocked at 4.2 GHz to 5.0 GHz. The Ryzen 7 3700, 12 cores, 24 threads, clocked at 3.8 GHz to 4.6 GHz. The Ryzen 5 3600X, 8 cores, 16 threads, clocked at 4.0 GHz to 4.8 GHz. The Ryzen 5 3600G, 8 cores, 16 threads, 12 GPU cores, clocked at 3.2 GHz to 4.0 GHz. The Ryzen 5 3600, 8 cores, 16 threads, clocked at 3.6 GHz to 4.4 GHz. The Ryzen 3 3300X, 6 cores, 12 threads, clocked at 3.5 GHz to 4.3 GHz. The Ryzen 3 3300G, 8 cores, 12 threads, 12 GPU cores, clocked at 3.2 GHz to 4.0 GHz. The Ryzen 3 3300, 6 cores, 12 threads, clocked at 3.2 GHz to 4.0 GHz. I am so excited to see AMD be taking the lead right now. These CPUs, if they are going to be what these leaks and rumors are posting, oh my god, are they going to be insane. Think about that. The Ryzen 9 3850X is going to be $499 US. 
And then the clocks are going to be Ryzen 9 3850X, 16 cores, 16 cores, 32 threads, clocked at 4.3 gigahertz to 5.1 gigahertz. Think about that. That is like, that's the clock speeds on that are very similar to the i9-9900K, but this is 16 cores and 32 threads. That is nuts. And it's priced pretty much the exact same as the i9-9900K. I am so excited to see AMD taking the lead right now. Once these things are released, if this is what they are going to be released at, holy crap, AMD, thank you so much for finally releasing something that is the best. That is how I like to buy my PC parts. I do not really care about pricing. This is what you get for performance tier money. I just like what is the best. And this is the best, but it is also priced at a very good price range. This is actually insane. And then lastly for today is the next gen Xbox consoles and their specs. For the Xbox Lockhart specs, the CPU is a custom 8 core 16 Zen threads R2. For the GPU, it's a custom Navi 4 Plus teraflops. For the RAM, 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. The storage is one terabyte of an NVMe drive plus one gigabyte. I have no idea what that means. And then an SSD drive. So I'm gonna I'm gonna imagine take a wild guess that that's just like different options of that Lockhart consoles. For the Xbox Anaconda specs, it's a custom 8 core 16 Zen Threads 2. GPU is a custom Navi 12 plus teraflops. For RAM is 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. The storage is one terabyte of NVMe storage. Once again, one plus gigabyte and then S SSD hard drive. I have no idea what those differences are there, but yeah. That's going to bring us to the end of the video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Remember to support it with a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.